Saturn, like Jupiter, probably can't support life. It's mostly hydrogen and helium, with just a bit of water ice in its lower clouds. The cloud tops are chilly at minus 150 degrees Celsius, and though it gets warmer deeper down, the pressure becomes intense. Where it's warm enough for liquid water, the pressure is like being kilometers under Earth's oceans. Yet, Saturn's moons, Enceladus, Titan, and Dione, might just be life-friendly. Even Saturn's small moon Hyperion shows hydrocarbons on its surface. Enceladus has life's building blocks, geothermal activity, water vapor, and maybe oceans under ice, warmed by tidal forces. The Cassini-Huygens probe found carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen essential for life in 2005 when it flew through a geyser. The plume's warmth hints at a watery source below. Enceladus could be the best place to start looking for life in our solar system. Titan, another Saturnian moon, has an early Earth-like atmosphere, but thicker. It's got lakes of hydrocarbons, cryovolcanoes, and methane precipitation. Protected from solar winds by Saturn's magnetosphere, Titan's atmosphere might cook up complex organic molecules. The remote possibility of an exotic methane-based biochemistry life has been hypothesized for this type of environment. Dione is thought to hide an ocean under 100 kilometers of crust. Data suggests this deep ocean touches the rocky core, offering nutrients for microbes. This ocean might have been around since Dione's beginning, giving life a long time to emerge under its icy exterior, with the odds of finding alien life in the next 20 to 30 years. Understanding planetary habitability is key for those following humanity's big leaps, and it's definitely on our watch list. In addition to these videos, we've designed a detailed poster showcasing celestial bodies in our solar system where the possibility of life, past or present, has been considered. The poster is available to explore and download at bit.ly slash solar habitability.